Hundreds of women and children, majorly repentant insurgents, relocated to Fulatari camp in Dikwa local government area last week, attempted to return to the bush before troops of the Nigerian army stopped them. <laughs> The women accuse government and donor agencies of neglect since their return from the Hajj transition camp where they were kept after surrendering. While the governor had a meeting with the displaced persons, he did not mince words on his thoughts about their actions. People should go back to their agricultural lands and cultivate their lands. The army has provided security. And there's nothing we can do. No any administration, be it federal or state, has the capacity to provide food and non-food items to millions of people in a day, on a daily basis. And therefore, anybody who is willing to stay in the camp, fine and good. Anybody who is not willing to stay in the camp, you want to go to the bush, allow him to go to the bush. We remain eternally grateful to the federal government. The Bono State Government and the Federal Government are partnering together to see how we can end the hunger crisis in the state. So state government is resettling 447 households from Medina to Anmuna camps to the newly constructed houses in Dalory community. The governor explains that the idea is to promote agricultural activities for self-reliance. Our uh, government is providing, has been providing food and non-food items to this IDV council for the last 11 years. It's no more sustainable. What we need is these IDB camps, IDBs to go back to their ancestral homes and start earning the means of livelihoods by themselves. So, so far so good, as I earlier told you, uh, all official formal camps within Metropolitan Council and its environs were closed completely about one or two years ago. The governor also wants former IDPs relocated from camps to have access to safe and secured lands for them to continue to engage in agriculture. Yeah.